Oh, y'all can titty fuck. I mean, but we can titty fuck too. I just feel like we could do the same thing and we could do it better. I said what I said. I don't care. If you're a woman on here and, and, and you never had sex with a woman, don't knock me because I feel like and I know that I can please you better than that man can. Don't, don't, don't be mad at me. You know what I'm saying? You can agree with him all you want. But if you never had lesbian sex with a woman that gave you that, that thigh out, then you know what I'm saying? I, I don't feel like you can knock that. And fellas, know this. All right, this is so off topic. Know this. I've never had a penis in my life. I don't even know what it feel like. I, 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 and I'm talking about to have one. You know what I'm saying? I never woke up with one. I never. So you having a penis and mine being fake? It does not affect me at all. <laughs> you know, because I still know what I'm doing. You making her come, so am I. You might can give her a baby, but that's good. I can stay up. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to get limp dick. I can stay up all night. You want it all night? You can get it all night. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I will set back on my mission. I didn't follow intuition. Back then I didn't wanna listen But now I'm gunning for redemption I want redemption I want it, I got it I want redemption What's up y'all, it's your girl Nick G, the host And today I'm back with another video Now, y'all wanted me to do this unpopular opinion shit, right? A lot of y'all were saying, you know what I'm saying You wanted me to do it And I'ma see if I have any comments in the pan comment Cause child, sometimes I don't be, you know what I'm saying, reading these damn, these damn comments. <clears throat> okay, I got, a, somebody got a lot of questions. Ooh, the first one is great. Now, shout out to Misty Fisher. Um, she's always on my videos. You always support me. I, I appreciate you so much. And um, I'm going to use definitely, I mean, girl, she sent me a description and 14 questions. Let's go ahead and handle that. All right. What are your thoughts on being born gay? Now, I'm not going to lie. I feel like that we are up. Uh, some people that are gay or have um, natural desires to be gay definitely think we're born gay. Um, reason being is because, you know, when I was young, and I can only speak on my experience, you know what I'm saying? If you disagree, you disagree. You know what I'm saying? But you can't, you can't say that I'm wrong because this is my opinion. You get what I'm saying? So... You know, when I was when I was younger, oh shit, I started looking at girls when I was like fourth grade. And you know, not looking at their ass or nothing. I just thought that they were very, very pretty. You know what I'm saying? It was like, damn, but it was it wasn't like, you know, damn, she's cute. It was like, damn, she cute. Like I would look at a little boy and be like, I want a boyfriend. But I'll look at her like, damn, she's cute. But at that time, you know what I'm saying, trying to say or act as if you wanted to be with a girl or something was like, nigga, what are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? The shit did not even, that shit didn't make sense. So I feel like definitely some of us were born gay for sure. Why am I in the fourth grade looking at little girls? Mm -hmm. That's nothing to explain. That's nothing that can be explained. When I was in high school, let's go to middle school. When I was in middle school, you know what I'm saying? I was trying to fight the shit. You know, I'm getting bullied. You know, everybody calling me a dyke. Put writing the shit in the bathroom and shit. I used to get bullied, y'all. But uh, writing shit in the bathroom, you know what I'm saying? Um, talking about me. And, uh, you know, it was this girl that, uh, child, she thought she beat me up that day. My daddy told me to stop fighting because I was fighting the whole week. And if I got caught fighting, he was going to give me a whooping. And she pushed me and I ended up falling over or something that was behind me or whatever. And it was that, that was it, you know what I'm saying? And it would look like I got my ass beat. But anyway, she, um, her name was Royalty, by the way. I love Royalty. Uh, I still know her to today. Uh, but, you know, she, I was so attracted to her after that shit. And I wanted her so bad, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't know why, but I was also attracted to uh, guys, you know what I'm saying? But I really, genuinely did not know why. And I wanted to fight, I did fight it, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, girls were attracted to me. So it was just a lot. But I, I, I'm going to just keep it like that. Yes, I think that some of us are born gay. You know what I'm saying? 
not everybody, but definitely some of us. And I said what I said. Okay. <laughs> um, what are your thoughts on bisexual individuals? Uh, can they be faithful to one person? Now, I feel like just because you're bisexual, that does not take away your morals. You know what I'm saying? You're bisexual. Okay. But. Hold on. You're bisexual, but that don't mean you out here popping pussy for everybody. You know what I'm saying? That don't mean you want to you have sex with a man. It's your goal to go have sex with a woman. Like, or even if you're talking to a man or a woman, you're gonna have those people. It's like, I feel like that comes with everything, though. You know what I'm saying? Everybody. What y'all don't know is some of y'all out here sleeping with men and don't even know that he just had sex with his best friend, you know what I'm saying? At, at the at the trap house. And then he came and had sex with you. But see, that's you, you don't know that. But everybody want to put a stigma on everybody that's open. You put a stigma on everybody that's open. I'm gay. Ooh, she gay. So that means she's this, this, and this. But just because you haven't admitted to it, then you're better than me. You know what I'm saying? That's bullshit. But anyway, bisexual people, I feel like, can definitely uh, be faithful if they're in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? If they want a man... They just fuck with a man. And maybe they have threesomes. You know what I'm saying? You just never know. But I, I think that a bisexual person that has morals can be faithful. You know what I'm saying? Period. <clears throat> okay. Do you believe that girly women need a masculine partner regardless of being heterosexual or homosexual? <sighs> now, some people felt some type of way that I said, you know, I don't, I don't, understand or really care for a stud on stud i don't you know what i'm saying like i don't have anything against them but i'm not attracted to no damn stud so shoot me you know what i'm saying shoot me in the foot i'm not you know what i'm saying so uh with that being said now that was that was off topic but going back to the initial question nah it's some women out here and they both fems they had the best sex of their life. You know what I'm saying? They um go get their nails done with each other. Go get their hair done with each other. You know what I'm saying? Swap out wigs and shit. You know what I'm saying? Swap out drawers and whatever. And, and living their best life. You know what I'm saying? So do I feel like uh, a feminine woman needs anyone that's masculine? I don't. You know, everybody picked their own poison, so... If you want a woman, if you feminine and you want a woman that's feminine too, because you 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 can be feminine, but people don't realize you can step it up in the bed and be masculine. You could be so masculine that you can't have sex with a man. You know what I'm saying? You too aggressive for him. He like, ah, oh, damn, I don't like that shit. And, but she do. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so many steps to this gay shit. Or even just, you know, sex in general, but also sex and and relationships it's it's it all it all plays together you know what i'm saying so it's just like i i don't I, to go back to the question i don't think they need anybody masculine do you feel that every human is sexually curious about being with the same sex um i don't believe that everyone is curious a lot of people say that like all girls are have sex with a girl i don't believe that shit. now I feel like you can build curiosity. So, yeah, y'all know how sometimes it can. I can sound like I'm complex, but I'm not. I just think about everything in every aspect, right? So shoot me. So I right, boom. When you when you dating a girl, what what? what the question. <clears throat> you know how you be at work, right? And this, this happens m mostly, I feel like, at jobs. And I'm not talking about even at corporate jobs because I, I, I'm not a corporate nigga. I never was. I used to work at Chipotle, you know what I'm saying, Walmart, Home Depot, shit like that. So I can only tell you from my experience. Now, every damn time I worked a job, a woman wanted me, or women, and they half of them were straight. You know what I'm saying? And I've always been told, you know, if I dated girls, I would fuck with you. But I never fuck with a girl. Or I would love, I used to have girls in high school say, you know what? If you was a dude, I'd fuck with you. But since you not, I can't. You know what I'm saying? 
<clears throat> so I feel like it's two different sides to curiosity. You either curious and willing to do it, or you curious and just fucking curious. You know what I'm saying? Do I think everybody is curious and willing to do it? No. Um, but I mean hell, even just being curious, I, I just don't think everybody's curious. You know, I've I've it's like you don't know till you try. This is I, you don't know till you try type thing, cause people always say like, I thought I'd never be with him. I thought I would never marry him, and you know I hated him. I I I didn't even want to talk to him, or I didn't even want to talk to her. And then suddenly they they've been married for 21 years. So you know what I'm saying? So I just feel like that is a that's a thing where you don't know till you try. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the best way I could break that one down right there. All right, next. Do you trust other masculine women with your girl? Why or why not? If you've known this girl, you know what I'm saying, for years. I've known, I have feminine women I've known for years, and I wouldn't touch them bitches with a 10-foot pole. You know what I'm saying? If you've had friends that you've known for years, they studs, they your homies. Now, in the beginning, I'm going to ask you, have you ever had sex with her? Now, if you tell me yes, clearly, I may not want you around her. If you've already had sex with her, it's a possibility y'all can have sex again. And I know, because I've done it with a couple of mine, then, nah, I ain't gonna want you around her. And I mean, just a new stud, fresh, just, just some new stud, nah. It ain't a matter of me not trusting her and not trusting you. I don't trust neither one of y'all. I mean, to be honest, you know what I'm saying? Fuck around and get mad at me by something. This has happened to me before. You get mad at me by something, you know what I'm saying? You get to talking with old girl about your problems. She get to talking, you know what I'm saying, with you about her problems, you know what I'm saying? Y'all getting emotional and all vulnerable and shit, you know what I'm saying? And then y'all want to have sex and everything, you know what I mean? Uh-uh. Nah, I ain't feeling it. And you can do that with a feminine woman, too, you know what I'm saying? But I, I wouldn't care for some reason. I just wouldn't care with a feminine woman, you know, but lesbians fall in love so fast. You just never know. So, nah, I don't want my girl around no stuff, especially a new one. <laughs> it's my fucking ass. Uh, is there anything that I would not do sexually with a female? You know, I... Okay, so I, I gotta say this too. Men. Men think that this guy told me that all we could do is reproduce and um, eat pussy. Sir, that is not true. Now, with men, and some of y'all ladies agree with, with that man too. With men, men can drop dick, right? And this is a straight man. So straight men can give you the penis and he can give it to you in all different positions, right? He can also eat your pussy, right? He can also um, eat your booty, right? I mean, and whatever other nasty stuff that is beyond that, I'm not really sure. Oh, he can he can poke you in the booty hole, right? That's four things. We got an up on him. We have an up on you. Oh, you can finger her too. That's five things. She can jack you off. Hell, that, well, okay, well, I'm getting too deep. I'm going to go with five things. You can do five things with a woman. I can also do these five, right? I can eat the cat. I can lick the booty. I can um finger pop. You know what I'm saying? I can um um uh, penetrate her and put her in all the positions that you put her in too. Um, and I can do her in the booty too. So we tied at five. Five ways to come, right? This video is not for children. Please, children, get off this video. Please get off this video. Parents tell your kids to get out right now. It's getting, it's gonna get deep, okay? Number six, we got something called a scissor, right? And a, a, a scissor can go several different ways. And if you do it right, Lord, give me the strength. If you do it right, that's a good time, right? So boom, we got a one up on you. Cause she can grind on your, your stuff. 
And really, she can come like that. Oh, y'all can titty fuck. I mean, but we can titty fuck too. I just feel like we could do the same thing and we could do it better. I said what I said. I don't care. If you're a woman on here and, and, and you never had sex with a woman, don't knock me because I feel like and I know that I can please you better than that man can. No, no, don't be mad at me. You know what I'm saying? You can agree with him all you want. But if you never had lesbian sex with a woman that gave you that that thigh out, then you know what I'm saying? I, I don't feel like you can knock that. And fellas, know this. I right, this is so off topic. Know this. I've never had a penis in my life. I don't even know what it feel like. I, 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 and I'm talking about to have one. You know what I'm saying? I never woke up with one. I never. So you having a penis and mine being fake, it does not affect me at all. <laughs> you know, because I still know what I'm doing. You making her come, so am I. You might can ha give her a baby, but that's good. I can stay up. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to get limp dick. I can stay up all night. You want it all night? You can get it all night. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? After a while, you're going to have to quit. I'm up on you, and that's it. I'm up on you, and I don't care what you say. <laughs> now, all right, so is there anything that I won't do sexually with a woman? <coughs> I don't like fingers. You know what I'm saying? Keep your fingers to yourself. Um, also, you're not strapping me. You know what I'm saying? I don't care for penetration at all. So it's just like, I don't want it. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me do all that to you. Let me get you straight on all that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I think that's it. Um, I'm going to do a part two with one of my friends. But, hell, if y'all got more questions, you know what I'm saying, I could do it part two and part three, part four of this because, you know, I have my, my, my own opinions about this. But I appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. For more videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up. We on to the next video. Peace out. Are you looking to get your shirt printed by Nick G, the host? And not only get your shirt printed, get the fattest, the best, the baddest logo in the world and that's royalty apparel and you can get it from me yes me i do everything i print out the logo i cut the logo i pick the logo i also make sure it's measured right so it won't be crooked on your shirt then i press it down okay one two three pop open then you got the best logo out in the world okay and I got to make sure that it's on correctly. Not only that, I got to ship it. So I make sure it's on there, heat and press right. Then I make sure it's folded right. Package it right. Okay, okay. Then you got to close it so it can get to you on time. You know what I'm saying? Then I put my P.O. box on a paper and I send it to your door. Let me know if you want your shirt printed. Go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and go get your shirt today. Peace out.